Hello everybody, welcome back. It has been a long time and as you can see we are playing something new on the channel. This is called Star Trucker and uh, as you can see we are in space. We are in space for the first time. Is this the first time in space? It is indeed. But um, yeah, we are playing Star Trucker. It's a new game that came out. It just caught my eye. Uh, it came out on the 3rd of September. And today's the 6th. So it came out a few days ago. And uh, yeah, it is what it says on the tin. As you can see, we are in space. And uh, we drive trucks and cargo through space. Which is something different. Uh, imagine Euro Truck, but in space. That's basically what you get here. And that guy's got a dual load. Uh, that guy's got a triple load over there. Wow. That's cool. But yeah, as you can see, this is a completely single-player game. But uh, also, all these trucks are AI, but maybe in the future it will be. But uh, as you can see, this is our truck. We are cold and dark at the moment, so uh, let's uh, get in and turn some systems on. Uh, let's get some lights on. Cool, cool, cool. And we need to basically turn our thrusters on. Is it cold outside? No, external is quite warm, I must admit. So, those engines are going to be warming up. As you can see, there is our rig. Uh, we are currently at the Starbreak Supplies. Uh, and, yeah, as you can see, these are our sort of systems. We'll have a look around the truck quickly. Well, I keep calling it a truck. It's more of a spaceship or a rig. But uh, a star rig, we'll call it. But uh, this is our spacesuit, and obviously we can open these up. Uh, we can open this door. This is the airlock, and there's the shop. Uh, and yeah, you basically have to buy supplies and uh, you know change these power cells out and stuff. And we've got a whole thing down here with like storage. Um, I've already played the first sort of bit of this game, the sort of tutorial bit. But yeah. This is where we eat, sleep, and truck. And this is a look, nice looking chair, this is. Oh yeah, sounds comfy. So, uh, let's check jobs. So, that's just a little side quest we've got. And that's our cargo, and that's our skills. So, we want to go pick up a job, really. So, um, this is the external view. Now we haven't got around to customizing yet. That comes later. Ooh, fuel. What are we like on fuel? Eh, we're okay. You have to. I haven't got a lot of money in this game at the moment, so we've got to earn some money before we can. So hopefully that fuel can survive. So we can survive on that. Um, we're gonna need a job. I'm just trying to find where you get the jobs from. Obviously, things in space don't, you know, there's no, there's no gravity or anything, or like, you know, resistance. So, things speed up and slow down quite quick. But at the moment, I'm on like the easiest setting. Um, we can dock using this when we're close enough. Right. So that's going to Medusa 6. And that looks really cool. Bit of a tanker uh, system. Um, I don't know what that is. Brass scrap. Rush delivery. That's cool. Um, that's like a really spacey container. Climate stabilizers. Cosmetics. Frank's logistics. Fiberglass insulation. You know, I want to take this one. Um, and it's it's going to hold on. It's going from Medusa Six to Purity. Uh, we want to go from Purity, really. Uh, it's that, it, the only one that is on there for Purity is that one. So we'll we'll take that one. And you can do up to three. Um, so that's Medusa Six. Is there any? So we can do uh, one to Medusa six. 
So really what we want is, and then from zoo to six back to purity. Yeah, let's take that on as well. So we'll be taking that and then bringing that back. So cool. Uh, it should have our cargo somewhere. Ah, it's down there, look. And yeah, I was really, really surprised by this game. It was... It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, well, it, it, I'm talking about it as if it's, like, dead, but it's not. It's... Yeah, the game is just a lot of fun. Uh, it's a bit arcadey, I must admit. You know, there's not really much realism, but we are in space after all. I think we'll be able to back that up. Um, yeah, like I said, there's not a lot of light realism, but then again, we are in space, so... You know, how much realism can you actually get? But, um, I just think it's hella fun, just to, like, jump on. It's it's not a, it's no Euro Truck by any means of the imagination. Um, it would be good if they had, sort of, workshop support. Um... But, you know, these things come in time. And there we go. Look at our rig. Clover leaf. Nice. So, we are going to Medusa 6. So, where's that? We've got to find the jump point for that. Um, ah, we've got to go Atlas Prime, then Medusa 6. Okay, cool. We can't just go straight there. That's okay. I keep doing that zoom. I keep hitting the wrong button. This is our rig, look. Space rig. We we can do the horn, look. <laughs> but yeah, I just find it so fun where, you know, certain games, you know, have a sort of sense of, you know, other, other space games have a sort of sense of, um, you know, we need to slow it down here, really. Whoa, we just, like, sort of pulled out in front of that guy. You've really got to watch your, um, you've really got to watch yourself, because, yeah, there's, there's other people flying around, obviously. But um, you could damage your cargo if you're not careful. And there's other people flying around. We've got a little bit of 85. Ooh. Malfunction. Gravity. We're good. You see. Uh, okay, hold on. This is going to be a problem. We need to sort of stop. And everything's flying around. Um, so we need to actually find... Our... Nope. <laughs> this is the problem when you're not paying attention to systems. One of them. And we want to take that out that's bad and put one of these in no oh. that's a mess but we'll deal with that later All right oh no away we go let's check no one's uh, coming up 
Oh. Good. Yeah, a lot of the space games sort of, uh, you know, they play on the trope of, you know, you're either an outlaw or something in space. Nobody really does, you know, and in reality, you would have space truckers. You would have people taking supplies across, across space. It would be a thing. Let's actually go outside for this. Oh. Prime. Sort of the hub. Apparently we are low on fuel. So you just, all you do is enter these boxes and uh, it should turn green. start filling so we have 792 I guess that's like space dollars so we will fill we'll do like half a tank because we haven't got that much money and we are away Now you see that little symbol there on the dash. That means debris, which yeah. Oh, that was that was big. Oh, why is there so much crap flying around? Right, we need to actually stop because we've actually got a whole breach. Which means our oxygen will be going down. So we need to be getting out of here. I'm hoping we're going to slow down. And at least you get to see the outside now. If we use our spacesuit. So yeah, we hit something. Whoa, we hit something. We got a whole breach. I don't want to be uh, accidentally flying away from the truck or the rig. But uh, if we don't fix this, we will be in danger. And all you do is come to the outside here and repair it. Like that. I think that was our only breach, because it would tell us otherwise. But wow, just look at this environment. So cool, so cool. And then we just go back into the airlock. Put this back on charge. You can, ooh, you can get like armored hulls. You see, so you can upgrade the rig to get like armored hulls and stuff. Our um, our trailer is very damaged now. Which is quite annoying because it means that we are going to get a serious penalty. I don't know if we're high enough here. No, we're not. So you see how we're sort of. We need to. Uh, 
traversing in this game is interesting. I haven't got the knack of it yet. Because you've got to remember, because we're in space, it's it's not it's not as easy as you think. But we're a bit better lined up now. But yeah, we are going to get some serious penalty on this trailer. Hopefully our next one isn't that bad. Sort of like a nebula, almost. And 50. Drop it down to 100. And uh, we're basically just going to be following this sort of highway. Now it is sort of Americanized. Um, I would. I don't. I haven't been further enough into the game yet to know if there's different rigs you can get. If you can get sort of maybe like a more flat-nosed European rig or something. I don't know. But this is very Americanized. But as you can see as well, the, the the sort of highways look like American highways and they're sort of set up like Route Route X25 and stuff like that, you know. But at the end of the day, it's still pretty good. I'm not gonna uh, knock it down. So our drop zone is actually over there. So much, oh yeah, so much crap about. See, I'm not gonna. That guy's literally like flying straight into the pub. Whoa, we need to dive. There's so much crap about in in space. It's crazy. Um, like I said, you can upgrade the um, the rig so you can have like armor plate and stuff so it doesn't. If you do back something, it doesn't damage. However, you can still damage your cargo. Um, let's knock that off. Debris. Yeah, there's so much round here. And this must be some sort of like big oil refinery. And uh, when you're dropping off, all you do is you simply put it into this uh, purple thing until it goes green. Let's slow it down a bit. Ooh. It keeps doing that because I'm using a, a PS4 controller but the joysticks are actually broken in it so every now and then it just jolts. And yeah, all you do is fly it into here and should turn green. I have had one where you have to back it in, which is very difficult. Um, and then if we stop here, we can just release. So we obviously got minus stuff for that, which is a shame. But our next cargo is over here. And uh, you know you can you if you know if there was multiple trailers um, to take from Purity to here, um, I could have easily had two or three trailers. If I go over to oh, it doesn't show me that trailer on, but when I've got the trailer on, you can see I have got three up to three slots. Um, you know two have three trailers coming in a bit hot here
just coming in now. So at the moment there isn't um, there isn't key bindings that you can do yourself. However, the developers have made that a priority, and um, they've said that is the top of their list at the moment is doing custom key binds. But and they want um, another thing that they want high priority on their list of things to do is having the game work with joysticks. There we go. So we are hooked up to this thing now, which is like a container. Yeah, uh, joysticks. Uh, oh. Oh, what's going on? Uh, don't know what's gone on there. But we want to head to Atlas Prime and then Purity. Okay, cool. Whoa! See, my controller's messing up now because the joystick is broken. I need to basically get a new one. See how it's, um... It's free, apparently. Yeah, I need to get a new controller. If I'm going to play this game, I need one. I'm running out of fuel once again. Uh, it's crazy how much fuel you actually end up using. Well, he's coming in quick. It's crazy how much fuel you actually end up using in this. Um, and it's crazy how much power cells you actually end up using. Um, I actually replaced a few of them uh, just before I started this go. It's kind of... We better slow down, actually, because we want to get behind him. That's cool. But it's got, like, two, like, cistern tankers on the, on the end. It's actually... Uh, Set this. We'll go 80. Seemed good. Um, yeah, I replaced a lot of the power cells in this before I started the video, and they've already gone down by quite a quite a bit. So, and there is upgradable power cells. Oh, that's cool. Though. He's got yellow yellow uh, cisterns with a yellow truck. That's cool. Um, yeah, you can upgrade them to better um, power cells, but they cost a lot of money, so you're sort of scraping by uh, low fuel, low power cells until you get the money to upgrade. Um, ooh, that's another thing I need to... Uh, we're alright, actually, at the moment. Because the X... Uh, you don't want to overload your engines as well, because they can catch fire, which you don't want. But yeah, as you can see, the external here is 125, and the internal is 25, which is a nice, toasty number. Probably on a little bit of the cold side, but we're all right. Obviously, you know, the more we put it up, the more power it's going to use. But um, yeah, the external is hot, so our engines shouldn't really the choke is if you're in really cold climates um like a choker in an old car if it's cold you, you put the choke on so it can start same thing here um apparently uh we're good i think so those should go sort of when we're close enough they should go start ticking um, but yeah, cold climates you want the choke so that the engines perform. There we go, look. 
Oh, see how we sort of backed up out of there too much. That's the first time I've actually not, like, sort of successfully done the first time. You sort of have to be rolling into it slowly. This is basically the game. Um, I haven't got fully into the game. I will be doing more videos on it as I as I progress. Uh, so maybe there will be opportunities to get new trucks, more upgrades, and whatnot. Um, but at the moment, we're sort of just starting out on the basic stuff, and I'm absolutely loving it. It's it is essentially just like Euro Truck. You are just sat here driving, um, but obviously. That's what I like doing in these games. Wow, look at that planet. That's cool. But there's a few things that I kind of wish the game, you know, will have in the future. Um, a workshop would be really nice. Allow creators to make stuff for this game. And a, maybe a multiplayer as well would be nice. Yeah, a multiplayer would be really nice, actually. We actually want to come off here, uh, I think. Then again, no, we don't really. We want to follow this all the way around, really. Then again, we've only got 11 more. We might have to risk a direct. obviously we could damage the truck if we're not careful those rings are the worst you can sort of see them coming which is good um, you can sort of get out of the way of things if you're on the ball yeah, the metal stuff is because uh, obviously it would be traveling quite fast in space even though it doesn't look like it it technically would be traveling really really quick uh, so obviously when it hits you it uh, you know it's going to do some damage I'm going to try and go for 100% on this trailer Running out of fuel. You do use so much fuel. We filled up, and as you can see, we filled up half a tank, and now we're like basically in the empty again. Um, and certain places have better fuel uh, costs than others. Controls are a little bit awkward to get used to when you first start out. I mean, even I'm still not great with them. However, I can um, 
I've been getting I've been getting better as I play the game, sort of with the pitch and the roll and stuff, and and how the truck actually moves, or how the, the ship moves. It's hard not to call it a truck. Technically, it is a truck, but um. forklift sort of type things look that will literally just pull out in front of you like that guy if you were in he's coming around oh i had this happen to me last time you've got to be real careful because they just don't care they will they will just drive into you um even though this is sort of like the highway they're just mad yeah they're, they're like little vans look <laughs> Cool. Forklifts flying around in space. Right, our drop zone is right here, so I'm going to be coming off. Yeah, and you see how you sort of slide and drift? really got to be, you can't just make sharp turns, you've really got to be careful. Doing alright so far. Which drop zone are we in? Uh, middle one by looks like. I don't know what these places do, whether they're mining or if they're... Ooh. My controller keeps doing that. Stop it. Ooh. Close. No cigar. Turn it in slowly here. Don't want to hit that thing. Um, yeah, I need to just get a new controller. that will be the next place I'm going to go but once I've dropped this off that will be us for this episode right uh, late delivery careless driving so damaged client property so we got some you know faults there but it wasn't a lot we could do so that was uh, Star Trucker if uh if you guys want to check this game out, it is on Steam at the moment, and it, I believe it's on sale as well. And I will definitely be playing more of this. If you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.